Uh, now we have our guest, um, Tom West. I believe he wants to talk about a Russian uh, trip to Russia that the that uh, the West Foundation is trying to undergo or or or, or are doing. Um, but he can tell you more, and he's right here right now. Good afternoon, John. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, Tom. How are you? I'm uh, very good, thank you. And it's yes, I am here to talk to you about the Russia Fund. Right. Because basically, we're doing a once in a lifetime field trip to Russia, St. Petersburg. This is for the A level history class that our history tutor was teaching at WESC. Oh, you're doing history A level? That's very impressive, Tom. I am. <laughs> and um, basically, we each need to raise £350. With, each. With Julian Davy. Yep. Right. So, say for example, Julian's running the London Marathon. Okay. I'm doing a sponsored 50 length swim of a swimming pool. <laughs> okay. Harry Vincent is doing a sponsored cycle ride. <laughs> okay, it all sounds very exciting. And George, I think he's doing something to do with cars, I'm not sure what he's doing. But basically. That sounds even more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does, but. So, how so how's your. From, how's, how's the um, fundraising going? Well, at the Go moment, the at the moment, my fundraising page is not great mm. because my fundraising page at the moment on Virgin Money Giving has only got five quid, uh, that's and that's been set up since the beginning of January. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know how it's going, but we need to get three hundred fifty quid by the fourth of June. Okay. Each. So I'm here to basically say to people. You know, we might be. Yeah, well, um, people should give what they can. It's a great cause. It is because it's a once in a lifetime field trip to St. Petersburg. Not many blind and disabled students would go because Russia, I've heard, do not take disability at all well. So. Um, I gather. No, they don't. So, this is going to be, you know, a learning curve for us, but also a learning curve for them, so they know what blind and visually impaired actually is, yeah, but, but also I could probably teach them a few things because I've got a CP, as you know. I'm sure you could, Tom. Hang on, hang on a minute, you're, you're using initials and everything. What, CP what is cerebral about? palsy. Right, okay. Yep. So, just to explain that to the Russians, what... what what uh, what will that mean that they should provide? Well, basically, wheelchair access, I haven't heard, is very great. Um, it's not great, basically. So, wheelchair access is another one, is one we need to provide. Um, and just, well, assistance when needed. I don't... I find it... It's going to be quite difficult to explain. But I just... I think the Russians could, you know, use some lessons in blind, visually impaired, and cerebral palsy. And I reckon, if when we come back, I reckon they'll, they might have a think, and oh, think... I quite agree, actually, Tom. They might think about it and say to us, look, you're if they can do it, why can't we be a bit more accommodating? Well, you're probably politically correct, but whether they're actually gonna, whether they're actually gonna take it on board, just because you're just because you're coming to Russia, it's um, yeah, I know it's what you mean. Probably a lot to be des- well, it's probably just, a lot to expect. Tom, could you just say again where where it is you're going? St Petersburg. We're going to St Petersburg for five days. Fly out on the fourth of June. Come back on the ninth. And I'm really looking forward to it because it's going to be the once in a lifetime experience. Because yes, I've been to Colorado skiing. Yes, I've been to Florida, but never been to Russia. And where, where are you going to go in St. Petersburg? We're going to see where all the Tsars were assassinated. We're going to see where Lenin died. We're going to see where um, Stalin was killed. <laughs> God. God. It so, should... so these are all the tourist spots then, aren't they? Yes, but we're, we're not going for the touristy parts. We're going for the history. No, oh, I, so it is history. The, the A level is about history. Yes, Julian is okay. Um, okay, I he, know. Well, I I work with Julian. And I know him quite well for his work. It's very very serious. I wouldn't want to. And he's very good at history, isn't he? Yeah. So um, 
No, I don't. I don't think you're going to get much of a holiday out of it, Tom. I That's think, not the idea. I think, it, I, think very, I think it's going to be a very, very serious, serious trip. Well, and you've got a PA sat beside you. Is 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 he going with? No, I'm afraid he's not. It's going to be staff members that are going are Michael Cook, who you know. Oh yeah, so I know Mike. William here knows Mike as well. Yeah, yeah, we we have met Mike. Uh, Hugh Hennessy. I haven't met him. And Julian. I've met him. Free staff to free students. All right. Well, it all sounds very exciting. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So, so I'm just trying to clarify this. The, the, these are the historical spots. Mm. So, and they're not on the tourist. No. No. Well, I suppose we don't do that in London, do we? We don't say this is where Henry VIII's wives were no. executed and that sort of thing. No, we don't. And it's something we need. There's something we need to do. And I'm presuming Julian Davy or Michael Cook or whoever is going can speak fluent Russian. Uh, none of us can. <laughs> I had to admit that none of us can at the moment, but we are going to be te- we are going to be getting lessons because we've got a Russian day booked up at Exeter University to meet some Russian students to learn. Well, it's you've got a lot to go on. And you've got a lot to take on board, there, Tom. I have, but I'm looking forward to the challenge. I mean, I've got interviews left, right, and centre at the moment about it on radio, you know, things like that for newspapers. So I'm I'm trying my best to get us the cash that we need. So that's basically why I'm here. Right. So you need three hundred and fifty pounds each. Each. We, we all need each. So it's about a thousand pounds you need altogether. Basically. Well. The, so how could people send you money if they want? Well, to? if they want to, they want to donate to each of us. I'm on Virgin Money Giving. So if you search for my name, Tom West, on Virgin Money Giving, it should say sponsored 50 lengths swim. And follow the information and follow the links provided. Right. And please, you know, don't go over the top, but please do give what you can. Because it is going towards a very good cause. Every little bit helps. Exactly, it does. So... What will you do when you come back? Will you make a report on what you found? I will make a report and I will speak to somebody from here. I'll probably speak to you, John, if that's okay, and try and come and give a detailed description of how it went. Okay. Well, I'll look, I'll look forward to that. Cause well, it will, yeah, that would be great. Because it all sounds very exciting. I mean, I can see why... You see, if, I think if you're doing art history or something and you wanted to go to an art gallery or mm-hmm. one of the ancient buildings, yeah, I'm sure they've got uh, access, wheelchair access sorted out. Yeah. The, the sort of trip that you're thinking Take, of, yeah, I'm not, I don't know whether the Russians are actually... They're not um, high on disability. No, like, no. I'm going to have to walk, I'm going to have to get out of the chair, and we're going to have to carry the chair down steep escalators, apparently, from what I've heard. Oh. Yeah, it should be right, though. It should be right. Well, you'll have, you'll have very good support staff, mm-hmm. with you? Exactly, so it's going to be a challenge, but... I'm sure you'll cope. But I'm sure I said I'm sure I'm sure you'll cope with it nonetheless. I'm up for the challenge. Yeah, well, that's good to know. And I tell you what, I can't wait. Right. Okay, well that's all good. It is. So, do you want to do you want to suggest any music, or have you brought any music with you? I haven't brought anything with me. But do you want to suggest any music? Yes, as long as you're into drum and bass, because I've got a new good drum and bass track at the moment. Um, it's by Jet Black, and the track is called Dimension. Okay, well you'll have to you'll have to wait a little bit while we while we find it. That's fine. Um, so have you got anything lined up? I have, I have. This is um, we'll play. Uh, this is uh, Zion Train, and this is the this is a track called uh, Terror Talk. So we'll play that and we'll try try and find your track off, which will come on straight afterwards. Yeah. 